this is Dave Mosher, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com. That is the official Discovery Channel website all about space, and this is your weekly wrap-up where I take you through the three biggest things that happened in space last week. That said, let's jump right into it. You guys love great, awesome images of space, so do I. Take a look at this one that was released last week. This is a Hubble Space Telescope image combined with an X-ray, a Chandra X-ray Telescope image. So that's the purpley blue stuff, that's the X-rays, and everything else is Hubble. Now this is 5.4 billion years away, and it is four clusters of galaxies smashing into one another. So you see these blobs of galaxies sort of coming toward each other, and this blue gas, which is the X-ray part of the image, that's where that's where gas is being superheated and it's, as it cools down it releases these x-rays and that's how we can see it. So pretty cool, awesome image, had to show it to you guys. Next bit of news I have for you regards this. This is what most scientists agree wiped out the dinosaurs 65 million years ago uh, in what is the Cretaceous Tertiary Boundary. So this asteroid came, slammed into the earth, threw up a whole bunch of dust, all floated back down, blocked out sunlight, ruined ecosystems, uh, just Total devastation. Everybody pretty much agrees that that's what happened. However, there's a new idea that says that happened 300,000 years before the dinosaurs were wiped out. It's a pretty interesting notion. Um, this is not a nail in the coffin uh, for the, the idea that a asteroid wiped out Earth, but, or, sorry, didn't wipe out Earth, wiped out the dinosaurs on Earth at the time. But it's still a pr pretty interesting notion. Uh, so if it wasn't an asteroid, what could it have been? It could have been Vulcan. Massive volcano eruptions happening all over the world at once, throwing up sort of an equal amount of material to block out sunlight and ruin ecosystems, leaving only our awesome ancestors to survive and eventually evolve into us. So that is an interesting idea. I had to share it with you. Last bit of news I have for you is about this. Okay, it's a space shuttle launch pad. Actually, it's two. I'm not sure if you can see this. Down here, that's a second space shuttle. This is highly unusual. It doesn't happen very often. And this is the last time it's ever going to happen. This is Space Shuttle uh, Atlantis at the front here. That's Pad 39A, Kennedy Space Center. And this is Pad 39B, and that's Space Shuttle Endeavor. And Endeavor is the rescue shuttle for Atlantis. Now, why would that be? That is because Endeavor, or sorry, Atlantis is going up to fix this. This is the Hubble Space Telescope, the world's most awesome space telescope ever made. And this, this mission, coming up on May 11th, uh, that's when NASA plans to launch it, is going to be the very last to touch Hubble Telescope. After that, it's on its own completely, and if anything goes wrong, it's a done deal. Uh, so this is a really big, really big mission coming up, and you need a rescue shuttle, see one of these back here, because Hubble is nowhere near this. This is the International Space Station, sort of the last bastion of hope in space for anybody who's stranded. And because Hubble is not anywhere close, you need a backup shuttle ready to go to rescue those astronauts just in case something goes wrong. So that's May 11th. In fact, on Discovery Space, we're going to have a big package for you on the Hubble servicing mission. We've got video, top 10, slideshows, everything you could possibly want to know about the Hubble servicing mission. And the last time people are going to touch it is going to be on Discovery Space. So look for that May 11th. That's Monday. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Now, if you'd like to find out more information about everything that I mentioned in this uh, video cast, you can go to my blog, that's Space Disco, and that's at blogs.discovery.com forward slash space underscore disco. If you're on YouTube, it's a bit easier to get to. Click that menu on your right, uh, more info, and there's a link within that. That said, thanks for tuning in, and hope to see you on the site.